What is going on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, cats and dogs? It's your boy Ryan, aka Mr. Showtime, back in my office. And as you can see, there's the Man of Steel himself right there, Superman. I want to show you guys my Superman collection. Sorry for the shaky camera work. Um, it was recently Superman's 80th anniversary on, I believe, Wednesday. Um, you know, depending on when you're watching this, who knows? This this could be years from now when you're watching this but I wanted to kind of show you guys my Superman collection as far as my books and my DVDs and stuff like that I don't really have anything else um, but let's go ahead and get started so uh, just to let you guys know if you want to see any other videos um, as far as any of my unboxings my my uh, DVD hunting trips uh, or anything else, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Uh, I do appreciate that. And uh, we'll just go ahead and get started here. So, I kind of laid out all the books here. Right here is the Superman Gallery. Basically, I had this book when I was a kid. And I just recently bought it. Um, and it just has a lot of great artwork through the whole years. Uh, through the whole years. Through all the years. Um, even like old like uh, like other thing there's like a Kellogg's ad and it's just really just beautifully painted and this is just something that I remember having as a kid and I um, had lost uh, had lost it. it if anybody doesn't know a lot of stuff about me as I was always a collector of like all my things like my my books my DVDs my even my VHS's when I was a kid and I had actually lost everything I had in uh a not so good situation and um this was back in 2009 so everything i have now i've like literally just kind of reaccumulated over the last 10 years or so so um this is the basically the return issue of superman uh there's his uh his sweet mullet from the 90s can't go wrong with that i like the i don't know if you guys can see it but the little hologram cover and it kind of looks like a like fireworks going off behind nice little one-shot comic you know these are it's like a combination of the um funeral for a friend and the reign of the superman comic books i'm still missing a few of the reign of the superman and cause there's there's the two variants like for the steel issue right there i was really into this storyline because like it was actually a big deal back in the 90s when they uh, they made the uh, decision to kill Superman, you know? It was a cyborg. I always thought he looked cool. And that was obviously just because it was early 90s and the Terminator 2 was just huge. So, uh, there's the there was the updated Superboy at the time. Very, very 90s. And that's the Superboy variant. I remember I had all of these books. These ones in the Funeral for a Friend book. Uh, my mom had bought them off of anybody, you know, I don't know. Everybody uses Amazon now, but this is like QVC back in the day. And they would have shows where they would have comic books and different collections and stuff like that. And she uh, she picked them up for me, which was kind of cool. This is another um, another variant, I think, of that return. Now, here's the funeral for a friend ones. This is the, the uh, epilogue, of course. So she won. And this took place obviously right after the death of Superman. So I have to get, see I'm missing part two, and I think part six, because there's four. Four was actually the very first one I bought. I used to, actually bought this from the grocery store. Uh, not this particular cover, or this particular book, but I remember buying that issue. There's five, there's the Superman Memorial, which they kind of took a lot of this, like, for example, like the memorial and all that, and um, there's, I think the one I'm missing is... Uh, do they have which one is the number two is when they show the uh like the funeral they they kind of used like this this um uh memorial and the funeral in um batman v superman slash justice league and yeah i'm missing six and there's number seven and it goes through eight which was billed as the end it's supposed to be the end of superman but obviously there's money to be made <laughs> so um, this is just a random um, Batman and Superman comic book, World's Finest book from, uh, let's see, when was that? What's, what's the year on here? Is there a year on here? 
usually put a year. I guess not. But you could tell it's definitely old because it's got Atari. Oh, 1982. There you go. Um, I'm assuming that's 1982. So not too old. Um, speaking of Death of Superman, I do have the actual Superman issue 75, which is literally the Death of Superman. I'm sorry about the sh shaky camera work. And then, um, this is the graphic novel, all the books building up to the Death of Superman. Um, here's the, want to look at the covers there. Found this one actually at Half Price Books. Couldn't pass that up. It was good, good quality. I mean, it's, it's definitely worn. I don't know if you can see, but like the pages are kind of yellowing a little bit. And there's a little crease up here, but you know. I only paid like maybe a dollar or two for it, so I can't can't complain about that. Um, we're gonna move over to the. Oops, sorry again for the shaky camera work. This is my Superman hardbound books. This is like a DC comic um, superhero guide, like superhero history um, from like the late '90s. Um, it has I think it goes up to um, like the Batman and Robin movie, the shitty Joel Schumacher movie. Um, this is mythology. This is basically all the art of Alex Ross, all the DC art of Alex Ross, and it's got a really good story about Alex Ross in there, about like how he grew up, you know, reading Superman and watching the, the shows and all that, and that's really where he based a lot of his uh, artwork off of for the DC universe. So very classic style for each one. I highly recommend picking up this book. It's been out since I want to say early two thousands. And um, it's it's just a great, just the visuals are amazing. Um, back here, you can't really see it. And I'll if you guys want me to do like different videos on, on certain books here, like in depth, I will. Um, I just figured I don't want to make this video, you know, too long because we're literally just at the books right now. Um, this one back here, I actually bought from um, it's Ollie's Outlet. Basically, they they do a lot of like overstock stuff. And this is just, it's uh, Superman cover to cover. So it's a lot of the famous covers of Superman. There you go, right in the middle. There's an Alex Ross one right there. Um, this one in the bag, this is the, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the uh, Return of Superman, the Back from the Dead. Um, this is kind of like the um, the other version of the Black Bag Death of Superman special, which is like so expensive to find now online. Um, so that kind of sucks. Eventually I will get it. I just need to get find it for the right price. Um, this is the Superman wedding album. I don't know if you could see the S there, but this is um, obviously the wedding of Clark Kent and Lois Lane. So I thought that was kind of cool. Found that at like a flea market. It was just super weird. Like the guy just was like, yeah, I'll, I'll just take a quarter for it. So couldn't pass that up. Um, probably one of my favorite books is the History of Superman. There's three of these. They have one for Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. And it's just so, like, in-depth, like, all the stuff. And it leads pretty much up to, um, I want to say Superman Returns, maybe, or right before it. Um, it's just such, such a good book. And it's literally just, uh, Superman The Complete History. That's the name of the book. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I might actually just flip through this when we're done. Um, another book I got from Ollie's Outlet. It is a uh, is obviously for the 75th anniversary of Superman, but this is the Lois Lane celebration of 75 years. So different Lois Lane based stories. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, she actually had her own comic book for a while. Um, just a lot of different, just a compilation of stories based around Lois Lane there. Um, this is the 1988 or 80 something run of Man of Steel. It's the whole complete, uh, I believe it's like a six or seven book run. It's when they kind of try to reboot them. And then another item I got from Ollie's Outlet. This is um, Batman vs Superman, or Batman Superman Public Enemies. This is the, the book. And then if you flip it in the back. Oops. Oops. Well, if you got the code, then you got it. <laughs> um, this is the DVD of uh, Batman vs. Superman. I keep calling it Batman vs. Superman. Batman Superman Public Enemies. So, um, I figured when I get the book and the DVDs, I just wish I I'm going to try to find um, some extra Blu or DVD covers just so I can put these. Is this Blu ray? 
might be Blu-ray. Let me look. I hate the way these are in here. That's why I want to get a cover. Yeah, it's Blu-ray and DVD. I want to try to find like a spare Blu-ray or DVD cover or a case so I can put these in. Just because I just feel weird having it in a book on my bookshelf. Um, but that is the um, that's the Superman collection. Uh, a little scratch there. Um, collection of the books. Let's move on to the DVDs. All right, so now we're at the uh, my many Superman um, movie and DVD collection. So um, first of all, I grew up watching the Christopher Reeve stuff. Like I was born in the '80s, and um, Superman was something I grew up with. Like he's not necessarily my favorite superhero. Which you'll probably wonder why after seeing all the Superman stuff I have. I actually can't believe how much Superman stuff I own. And when we went back to the books, I know there was like even more comic books that I didn't pull out just because it, it would just take forever. Um, so my my movie collection is kind of ridiculous because my main source of physical media is is definitely uh, DVDs and Blu-rays. I love just collecting. So let's start off here. First of all, we have the Blu-ray of the original Superman the movie. I have the Blu-ray of the Richard Donner cut of Superman 2, and actually, I found this at the thrift store, the HD DVD version of uh, Superman 2. I don't even have an HD DVD player, but it was like like 50 cents, and I'm like, I have to have it just to have it. Uh, if anybody doesn't, un doesn't know what that is, uh, the Richard Donner cut, because there's Superman 2 right there, and then there's Superman 2 to Richard Donner cut. Sorry for the glare, guys. Um... He had actually filmed Superman 1 and Superman 2. Um, at the same time, most of Superman 2 was done. About like, maybe like 75% of it was done. And then there was a uh, like a dispute and a falling out. And Richard Donner actually had left the project. So they came up with uh, Richard Lester, who was the new director of Superman 2. And, and basically uh, kind of redid a lot of the movie. So we got the Superman 2 right there. They came out in the theaters and the Superman 2 that we've known forever. And then in 2006, Richard Donner came out and they, they released the, the Superman 2 Richard Donner cut, which I think is, is better. There's obviously some stuff that's not finished, but um, the story uh, is a little bit little bit better. The, the continuity, I think, is better. Um, these were the two disc sets, collector sets, that were released in 2006. Superman really had a big resurgence back in 2006. So that's when Superman Returns came out. So they re-released a lot of stuff with so many extras and, like, um, just documentaries. The uh, Fleischer series of the original cartoons from the 40s, I want to say. 50s or 40s. Um, so, yeah. There's Superman 3. Not one of my favorites, but I do like the evil Superman versus uh, good Superman fight. Um, the <laughs> the not-so-good Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Look at like a nuclear man right there. That's awesome. <laughs> um, I have the two-disc DVD set of Superman Returns. I actually like Superman Returns. I, I still think it was very long. Um, I, w I wish they would have given it more of a chance, but that's okay. Um, I love this documentary. It's uh, Look Up in the Sky. It's the amazing story of Superman. It's literally from the inception of Superman up until Superman Returns. It's narrated by Kevin Spacey. It is such a good documentary. You can actually find this DVD super cheap now, and I I cherish this this uh, this DVD. It's got so much good stuff. Um, I actually picked this up yesterday from the record store. It's the best of the Superman. It's a lot of animated stuff from different animated series. It was like three bucks, so I figured why not. Um, Superman Doomsday, basically the it's a little kind of like a hologram lenticular cover there. I don't know if you can see. There he goes. It's an animated version of the Death of Superman, basically. Death and Return of Superman. I'm going to move down here to Lewis and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. That's season one. And I, I grew up watching this as well. Um, didn't really have a relationship with my mother. I know that's probably not something you want to put in this video, but that was one thing that we kind of bonded on was um, we both liked the show. Um, and I, you know, love Superman and, uh, you know, kind of brings back some good memories. Um, and then I actually have season three, so I need to get season two and four and then I'll have everything here. Um, just found these randomly at the record store. 
Um, picked this one up yesterday too. This is the Ruby Spears. Um, I think it's one of the best versions of Superman. They really based it a lot off the Christopher Reeve um, series, and it was only one, one, uh, one season of this. And I, I vaguely remember this, but as I was researching this after I bought it, because this was only three dollars. Uh, I realized this was a series that I used to watch as a kid, and I'm so pumped to be able to watch it again. Pick this up as well. We got Supergirl, the original movie. You can't have the Superman movies without the Supergirl movie, no matter how bad it is. This is the one with, um, obviously, Helen Slater. Um, they tried to get Christopher Reeve for this movie, but he uh, did not want to partake. I don't blame him, but, you know, I do remember watching this, like, if it was ever on, like, TV back in the day, so I... I don't really know if I've seen it in its entirety, so that's a reason why I bought it, and uh, of course to complete the series. Speaking of Supergirl, I got season one of Supergirl from the CW. Uh, it's a great, great series. Uh, of course, part of the Arrowverse um, with the Arrow and and uh, Flash and you know uh, Legends of Tomorrow. So really uh, glad I was able to pick that up because the Supergirl series is amazing. Uh, I'm gonna swing them around. Woo! Make everybody dizzy. To the um, to the uh, Zack Snyder versions, that Zack Snyder series. That's what I call it. it goes Man of Steel. I'm um, two disc Blu-ray. I enjoy Man of Steel a lot. Again, it was an origin story, so it was very it was a very long movie. But I think they did it. I think Man of Steel they did very well personally. I remember seeing that like opening night with my wife and. It was uh, one of those movies where I came out and I'm like, wow, this is, I want to see it again, you know? So we go from that to um, maybe not so good, um, which is just a shame because it was such a movie that we wanted to see for the longest time. It's Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. This is the uh, Target exclusive uh, digibook. And of course it has like, this is the ultimate version, which it is a very long movie. Especially with this extended version. I like this little book that's in here with the art. Um, but the story, it, it there's a little bit more continuity, you know. Um, and then, of course, we have Justice League. Same thing. This is the Target exclusive uh, digibook. Um, I like Justice League. It was fun. It was like a like nice little popcorn movie. Nothing crazy. I do like the ending with um, Deathstroke. Spoiler alert to uh, anybody who hasn't seen it. But this kind of like completes the cycle between Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and then this kind of completes the story, at least for Superman. And I think that's good. Um, the whole Batman thing, you know, it's okay. You know, Wonder Woman's obviously awesome. Uh, the Flash was amazing in this movie, as was Cyborg, too. Um, wasn't a huge fan of uh, Aquaman. Oh my god, it's like super blurry. It's going to make you guys look feel funny nice lenticular cover right um or 3d cover um uh wonder or wonder wonder man aquaman was all right but you know not, not my favorite out of, out of everybody um uh, just another random animated superman movie i really enjoy this, this is all-star superman this is actually uh on tv the other day it was on sci-fi really enjoyed it just just randomness i don't even know where i got it to be honest with you it's obviously used because it's damaged right there. And then my holy grail of the Superman collection. This is the uh, ultimate collector's edition of Superman. All the Superman movies. Uh, Superman 1, 2, 3, and 4. And Superman Returns. And the Richard Donner cut. And the, uh, the uh, up, Look Up in the Sky documentary. Um, I wanted this so bad when it came out. And it was so expensive back in 2006. I found it for $10. And it has so many... I know I have these things literally by themselves, but there's so much extra content and the collector's tin and just the little extra goodies there. Um, <coughs> could not pass that up. Um, I will probably do a video on this at a different time just because I don't want this video to get too long. I don't want to bore you guys too much. Um, but that's everything. We'll just kind of pan across. A lot of Superman. I didn't really think I had this much Superman stuff. Superman and Supergirl stuff. I'm worried to see what happens when I do my Batman video. I might need to get a bigger table. <laughs> so that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys want to uh, 
check out any of my other videos, be sure to go into the uh, archives list and, uh, you know, take a look. You know, it's got some, uh, some more unboxings, um, some episodes from my old podcasts. And um, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, weekend, night, morning, afternoon, whatever time it is. I will see you all in the next one. Later.